Hello Taurus, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Welcome to my channel, Pisces Spirit Moon. And if you're a returning soul, welcome back. Okay, Taurus. Taurus, this will be a general and... Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm thinking about another thing. This will be a general reading for all Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements. Okay. Uh, so if you have Taurus in any of those placements in your chart, uh, this should just about be the reading for you. Okay. Keep in mind that my readings are timeless and they're general, so just keep what resonates and leave the rest behind. Don't try to force or fit anything. Don't go manifesting what is not meant for you, okay? And uh, please do subscribe, click the like button, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I always like to hear feedback from my viewers, and all of that helps my channel grow, okay? All right, Taurus. Taurus, this video will be published on a full moon in Virgo. So, uh, let's see what, what energy that full moon in Virgo brings to us. Still keep in mind, like I said, my readings are timeless, so it doesn't mean that you have to watch this video exactly in the moment of that full moon. The best time is when you come across this video, okay? The energy is always fluid and stays lingering for quite a while. And, oh, uh, if you would like to book a personal reading with me or if you would like to make a kind donation and support my channel through those means, all the info is in the description box down below. Keep in mind that's the only way you can contact me. And that I do not reach out to anyone offering my services, so please be aware of scams, okay? Okay, Taurus. Okay, Taurus, the heart of the matter, what this reading will be about, or the current energy that you are or will be dealing with soon, is the Three of Wands, okay? So, maybe you're being advised to be patient if you're waiting for something to happen, okay? It's something about patience. Some of you are waiting for something to happen. You might be confident about it, okay? So some of you might be might be patient and others of you are might be growing impatient, okay? I'm picking up a little bit of those two, both energies. Okay, we'll see in a minute. The energy that is crossing you and it could be challenging you is the judgment, okay? So... Get sense about something. This is karmic, Taurus. In order for your ships to come in, there's something that you have to do first. Something you have to leave behind. Okay? And it doesn't serve you anymore. We'll see in a minute. The energy that's crowning you in your conscious mind, and you do see clearly, is the Two of Wands, okay? It's that decision. It's a decision to leave something so that you can finally hold the world in your hands, to be able to put yourself out there, to expand your vision, to expand yourself. You know it's time so that you can start seeing new things coming into your life. But you know you have to leave something behind. You know it. 
because two star decisions. And with that judgment challenging you, that's leaving something behind. The energy that is below you in your subconscious mind, and you don't see clearly, but maybe you should, because this is what the universe really wants you to focus on. It's the Knight of Swords. I think they want you to take this decision now. I think you have to be quick now. Or it might slip out of your hands. Now, I'm not going to say that this is the opportunity of your life and you'll never get another chance. I don't like saying that. I believe that sometimes we do get other chances. But I think that the time is now for you to take this decision, okay? And you're going to have to be quick. I even hear quick thinking. Okay, but take that as it resonates. But it's time to take charge. The energy that is behind you and it's pushing you through this, for some of you it's your recent past. This, this is what's making you, making you go through this situation. It's the Eight of Swords, okay? You've been stuck and you've been it's been mostly in your mind, I believe. Something has been holding you back. And you have to release yourself. That's where this judgment comes in. There's something. It could be something that you do. The way you think. I don't know what it is. I only read the energy. Okay, your situation. Apply it the best way as it fits your situation. But it's time to set yourself free. And take action. Uh, this is for some of you only, not everyone. You might get uh, kind of like a green light or a sign that's going to let you know it's now. And that's when you have to take action. Okay? Take that as a resonance. If you're waiting for a sign of something. But not for everyone. I don't want to get you stuck thinking that you have to wait for a sign. The energy that's in front of you or what is coming towards you or in your near future is the Two of Pentacles. If you've been stuck in a cycle, you're, you're going to be setting yourself free from it, okay? That's Two of Pentacles. That's another two. That's more decision taking. And I get a sense about also maintaining balance, okay? As you go through this, try to stay balanced and focused, but break any cycle that has to be broken. and try to take it one day or one step at a time. Even if you have to move and act quickly, just be steady with your footsteps or how you're doing. This is how you see or will be seeing yourself. Once you do take this decision, it's the Ten of Cups, okay? That's having it all. And I think you're going to be seeing something more clearly. You're going to see the, the rainbow, the light at the end of the tunnel. And things are going to be clearer for you. And you're going to have a sense of gratitude. You're going to be expressing more gratitude. There's a lot of joy and happiness and clarity. 
wants you set yourself free from this whatever it is that you have to leave behind the energy that's surrounding you it could be influencing you is the sun okay that's they call it the best card in the deck that's a lot of happiness but i get a sense also that there's clarity that you're starting to see you're starting to see things with a clearer mind and if not, you will when you release this, whatever it is that you have to let go of. This energy is going to surround you. And you're going to feel it. It's, it's going to be a rebirth. You're going to be f feeling fresh like a baby. A new start, a new beginning. Very happy. Strong Leo energy. Your hopes and fears. It's the six of wands. You're hoping to have that victory. Okay. To be even admired and seen by others. For some of you. But you're just hoping to have that victory. be able to call it a success the outcome or the advice page of pentacles okay it's I usually take it more as advice and it's that just go ahead and do it don't think that you're too small or that you don't have enough to start this new beginning and leave whatever it is that has to be left behind that you're not strong enough actually you are much stronger than what you think but you don't see it because you've been in this energy you put yourself in that energy nobody else can do it trust me some people think they can. Nobody can do it but ourselves. Just keep having faith. Okay. Stay focused. And plant that seed for that new beginning. Doesn't matter how small you think you are. But you know it's time. Time to leave the old for this new beginning. Bottom of the deck, five of wands, okay? Don't let your emotions get, get the best out of you. Because you really want that. You see, it's the six of wands. It's what follows it. There's a lot of wands here. There's a lot of passion-driven energy. Don't let other energies or other people's opinions and thoughts or anything, criticism, negative criticism, get in the way. Okay? There's justice. That's Libra energy. But you have to respond to this judgment call. You're hearing it. I know you are. You're just not responding to it. But you know it's time. You know it's time. Okay, Taurus. All right. Do I need to clarify anything? No. No, not really. I think it's perfectly clear. Okay. Taurus, I'm going to leave it there for you. I'm not using the Demon Tarot. Uh, as Oracle right now, I'm taking a break from it. Um, I mean, it's kind of cool, but uh, 
I think I'm just going to try to focus more on the main reading because I always used it as additional messages, but I think uh, I'm going to try to focus more just on the energy that you should really focus on right now and not distract you too much from other things. Okay. Taurus, I hope the reading helps you and it gives you guidance and answers that you're seeking at this moment of your life. Okay. And uh, if you do enjoy the reading, please do click the like button and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And uh, well, I hope to see you next time. And I wish you all the luck in the world. Okay. All the strength to move on and to start this new beginning. Because there's a lot of happiness and you want success and victory. Okay. All right. Taurus, as usual, please stay safe. Be happy. Always be happy. Okay. And stay very, very blessed. Goodbye, Taurus.